I've gotten a couple of queries about my office setup. I've always enjoyed seeing how fellow geeks have their workstation set up, so we're going to try a little tour of this one. So some of these things you may have seen in previous videos, like this Fleur FX camera we have monitoring the doggy pen and front door, and uh, it's Google Home. And we have the uh, Sonos for music. We have a Chromebook here I use for traveling. Um, use it to do email and web pages. Uh, very light, touch screen, um, not too expensive, $400. Uh, on the other hand, this guy is way expensive for what he does. He's another $400, but he's an investment in health. He's called a move man chair. He wiggles, so if you're sitting in him, you wiggle around more than you do in a regular chair, and that keeps you healthy. Also, he's got these height controls, so if you have a stand-up desk and you feel like not, if you're not feeling well and you can't stand, you can kind of lean up against him and uh, not be totally sitting, but not be totally standing either. So, move man chair because he moves. Over here, we have a laser printer, much better than inkjet printers. They never clog. Uh, Google Wi-Fi and Echo, and that is our home control computers on that Linux box. It's a Intel Nook. Drives a local speaker as well as the Google Home Chromecast sounds. We showed that in previous videos. The Intel Nook is hooked up to this display, which is uh, doubles as showing photos. It shows house. I've talked about that before. It shows photos and house information. Down here, we have a whole mess of things. Um, the One of the tricks I use is these cable management boxes. So those have power strips in them that all of the various wall warts plug into. So the cable management's a little bit better than if you just had it all opened up. Um, not quite as much of a mess. Uh, we talked about the voiceover internet phone before. Um, Smart Things Hub for um, Home Automation Z-Wave Control. That's the cable modem. And then this is the Synology NAS Network Attached Storage. I promised last week to do a little review of that. Uh, we'll do a quick mini review at the end here. Um, but really nice um, storage unit. That's how all these pictures, by the way, whether they're in here or in the kitchen, they all get the photos, 100,000 photos, from that device. Um, going clockwise, we have uh, indoor, outdoor temperature, humidity, and then we have over here the desk, which is a uh, really another item I spent a little bit of money on for my health. It's a motorized standing desk. It has presets. Uh, these days, I pretty much run with it standing all the time, but if you're just starting off, a motorized desk is nice so that you can kind of wean yourself into it, like spend half the time sitting and half the time standing. Or if you're feeling sick, that's another nice uh, option is to be able to sit down uh, easily. Over here we have another Intel Nook. This one's uh, the newest model, um, more powerful than i7. Um, this is my headset I use with that uh, phone line. This guy's got enough power to drive 4K videos onto this lovely um, Philips 4K monitor. Uh, he's relatively new. He's got this kind of curve to him. I think he's a 40-inch monitor. Um, and he's got um, uh, he display 4K videos nicely. Uh, the, I prefer this form factor, uh, the 4x3, versus the ultra wide 4k monitors because when I'm dealing with um, uh, a lot of text that tends to use the screen vertically um, so the horizontal screen is not that useful. I do have a horizontal extension with this older monitor. I use this for pocket cast for watching and listening to uh, podcasts. Um, wireless keyboards and mice because they're wireless. Uh, this is something I should probably do a little uh, show and tell on at some point. This is an eight button. Actually, you can use uh, the double tap and hold. So it's really eight times Down, 65. Uh, four, uh, three, 24 button 
um, wireless Z-Wave device. So I can control a lot of things in the house with my voice, but I can also, if I just don't want to bother anyone or do it quicker, I can just tap these buttons and have uh, easy home automation control. Um, over here we have the wireless charger of the phone. We also have a charger for this, this ring you've probably noticed. This is a Oura ring, O-U-R-A. It's an activity and sleep tracker. Um, so it's like uh, fitness bands that you might have seen, except it's a little bit more accurate in sleep tracking because it can track uh, your pulse and um, acceleration uh, very accurately. But the, the pulse in particular, because it's so close to the uh, circulation in, in your uh, finger, so it can it'll uh, come up with nightly a uh, daily views of how your uh, previous night's sleep was, including tracking deep sleep as well as REM versus light sleep. Um, so it's just got this still still reviewing it, but uh, if anyone's more curious about it, there's some good reviews on the net so I can talk about it more in future videos. Um, we're almost done. So going clockwise here, we have um, binoculars, art, uh, storage. So we got. Doggy toys aren't very cleverly stored, but these drawers are nice for storing uh, tech gear. It uh, just uh, was a bedroom storage closet. And we have uh, various headphones uh, ready to go. It's uh, Bluetooth wireless headphones. And this guy is, if you have pets, these awesome Dyson Handvax are indispensable. They clean your whole house in five minutes without stooping. The one last feature of this workspace is the best feature, and that is this view. Previous owners had this room as their living room, but I selfishly usurped it as my office because like, who wouldn't want to have this view for their office? Um, I feel pretty spoiled. Okay, so last thing I promised was the uh, quick overview of the Synology NAS software. So this will be a quick micro review of the Synology system. If you're interested, you can do a search on the internet and find much more detailed uh, and useful reviews. This will just give you a flavor for what's available. It's a network attached storage, so the most basic thing it does is stores files. You can create folders, like I have music and photo and video folders, and any computer in your house, you can now look at those same mount points as if they were local files. So here you can see in my Windows box, I can get at those same files just like you might expect you would for a local drive. So that's the basic feature. The real power of the Synology system is in its packages. It has an ecosystem that's reflected in this package center that shows it has a lot of function available to it. These are all the packages that you can download. And you can see there's dozens, if not hundreds of them. For example, here's all the backup packages. In addition to allowing computers to get to files, the most useful feature of the NAS is it backs up all your computers to the local NAS drives directly. In addition to that, we can have it nightly take that NAS drive and back it up to the file system of your choice. For example, I use the Amazon Cloud Backup because it has one of the more inexpensive rates, terabyte for $60 a year. So every night, this will take the, all the network attached storage data and, and back it up to Amazon in case your house burns down. In addition to that sort of backup, you can back up to a different Synology device. If you have one in your office or a different house, you can act as your own cloud uh, backup. So uh, in addition to uh, the files and backup, you have other useful services. Like if you have video cameras, you can store all the videos from all your cameras for however long you want. You have a week's worth of data showing whoever goes in and out of the front door. Uh, here you can see for today, all this green activity shows when there was movement at that camera. In addition to the web interface, if I get to my desktop, I can see the same data via this Windows client directly, not, not via a web interface. And there's also clients for most of these packages for iOS and Android. 
which allows for kind of seamless use of your cameras no matter where you are. The one last feature that I find very useful from Synology is this Evernote replacement. It's called Note Center. If you're an Evernote fan, this is a less expensive way to do it, basically free. And instead of storing your notes database up into the cloud, it will store it onto your Synology device. So, uh, and there's phone interfaces for this as well. So if you make changes to this note database, it automatically reflects itself onto your phone and vice versa. And this is very useful. This is all everything that I can't remember. It's my artificial brain. So that's a quick inter review of the uh, Synology packages. Very useful system, low power, low cost, a quick and easy way to share files between all your computers and to back up data both locally and to the cloud. So that's our wrap for this month. Thanks for watching.